as an introduction, Gen AI has been not a very new concept. It has been evolving ever since 1958, uh, when we started having first machine learning uh, calculation or machine learning model. Uh, but it has gained prominence uh, with a lot of automation, a lot of uh, large language models coming into picture, starting with uh, AI to Elmo or, or Google's BERT or Rob, Meta's Robert. And uh, it has evolved and, 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 and has gained, has just up with the industry when the, with the evolution of uh, GPT-3 in 2020. And it hasn't, it, it has evolved to, uh, if not thousand, at least hundreds of use cases in each industry, wherever it's possible to automate, uh, automate the system, automate uh, content generation, image generation. Uh, so broadly, Gen AI uh, is categorized or models are basically categorized in, in two, uh, uh, two uh, broad categories. Uh, one is generative alternative uh, uh, that is where you have a text or in uh, you know image input to the gen ai model and it in turn generates uh, a creative video or uh, images in in response and then there are a transformational model the transformational model actually uh, uh, generates the from a from a text input it generates you the relevant outcome uh, that you are looking for it has it's these both are pre uh, can be trained on either unsupervised or supervised learning uh, depending on uh, where the end applications would be uh, moving to what are the different applications uh, we have for uh, the the generative ai in terms of the the go to market strategy uh, or go to market life cycle so we can use it for market research and or customer research, having uh, overall industry competitive landscape where our competitors are, what all competitors are doing, how are they utilizing the use cases, or, or what are they, uh, or, or what all kind of products that they are selling. We can create a competitive uh, analysis of the products uh, that are there in competition of the product that we are creating. Uh, we can utilize it in terms of the overall uh, data strategy or the, the optimized input products that are going to create finished goods for us. Because uh, it does not only limit to the technology product, there could be, there could be physical product that we are going to deliver. Uh, and the, we would probably need certain uh, raw materials or goods that we would first uh, process and deliver it to the customer. So giving us uh, optimization in terms of the various factor of, of prices, uh, it can help us gain more uh, value in terms of the money that we save in, in, in purchasing or procurement. Uh, when it comes to campaign planning, uh, personalization is the key today. Uh, the, the context and the, the segment that we are targeting would really help in terms of uh, your conversion rate, what uh, conversion that you are you are at today, and uh, what is your your potential target that you would be looking for? Uh, it helps in the in the you know uh, overall customer journey mapping where there is a churn, where our customer dropping off in the entire customer journey. So we can based on that we can plan our future campaigns. Uh, we can define the content strategy, uh, not just limited to uh, the content, but can generate, uh, we can identify where, where are, uh, which particular media is giving us better or higher results versus what media are, uh, what, what should we target in terms of the, the content? What is our ad revenue or, or ad per uh, or cost uh, benefit analysis of the spending that we are doing in terms of the content. Uh, it can also help in terms of content production and, and management uh, of, the, of the content. So be it the, uh, the conversational AI or uh, the, uh, you know, let's say if you go to a sales meeting, oftentimes salespeople are quite 
uh, occupied during the sales cycle and are not even able to capture the notes that they are speaking with the customer. So, of course, this is already integrated with a lot of uh, prominent uh, meeting tools, including MS Teams or or, or Google Meet, etc. Right? Uh, we can use it for sales enablement as well. Uh, uh, so, so these are all the overall high-level use cases that we have. Uh, for for generative AI in the go to market strategy. Uh, 